What is up guys and gals, my name is Splattercat and we are here today with the next episode in our How to Survive playthrough. I was a little apprehensive about recording today because I am like sick as a dog right now, but I feel like I haven't had enough enjoyment in my overall day, so I figured I'd jump on, I'd talk to you guys for a little bit, and we would play some video games. In the last episode, we had gotten a bunch of packages for some guy, I don't remember his name. I just remember that he was really, really concerned that he didn't have his packages, so I'm assuming they've got all kinds of lucrative nose candy in them or something of that nature. We're actually going to run on through using our golden gun here, and we are on, I believe, we left off on Kovacs Island. Yeah, we're on Kovacs Island, and I'm hoping that Kovac is not home, because I'd like to go through and grab a few bottles. But if he's here, I'm not really sure what the altercation's gonna look like, because very clearly he's been kidnapping people and kind of holding them against their will. Ooh, we do need some healing plants. That is something I definitely want. Let me combine that really quickly so that it's not using up space. I'd also like to start a fire up if I can, get some of this food cooked, but let's move kind of slowly here in Kovac's area. I did, if you notice, I don't know if you can see, but I added some flint to my shin guards there, so now they're spiky. And in the world of Road Warrior-esque apparel, the guy with the most spikes most assuredly wins. Let me see if the bottles have been replenished up here. They have. So let's grab those. Okay, so we've got our bottles. Let's get up to the fireplace as well. We're gonna pick up, I know he's got a lot of ammunition and whatnot, so I think that might also be a nice thing to stop by. We'll ignite that. Let's cook up all of our fish, because if you recall, we don't really have a whole lot of food to be eaten. So there we are. We'll cook up our steaks. We've got a few more fish there. Awesome. So now we've got more food than a red lobster. And I'm not talking about the biological species, of course. I'm talking about the restaurant. Here in the United States, we have a place called Red Lobster, and it is pretty banging. It's got some pretty amazing food. So just fill it in with whatever your favorite, like, steakhouse delicious, like, fun food place is that you go with, like, friends when they visit in town for the first time in years. Now that we've gotten all of that stuff, what we might think about doing is maybe... Finding a well. I think there's a well up in the top left corner. Yeah, so let's go out and refill our water a tad? No! You know what? To hell with that. Let's get the hell on out of here, and let's do some questy business. Also, I'd like to see if maybe... There's some more flint around here so I can add some more spikes to all of my stuff. I'm not feeling like my armor protrudes enough. I'd like to give that aura of badassery be like, You do not want to mess with me, sir. I will spike you. I will spike you like crazy, my friend. Let's go to Los Riscos, I guess. That's not where we came from, but for as far as I can tell, there should be packages all over the place. So we're just going to kind of do a little bit of a perimeter search here and figure out where some of this stuff might be at. So yeah, there's a few more right there. I don't remember how many What's-His-Name wanted. These zombies shouldn't be much of a challenge. These guys should be kind of a pushover. So much, in fact, that we might be able to just use the Golden Axe against them. You guys had mentioned that I could combine the Golden Axe with something, but I don't remember what it was at this point. Another thing that I noticed while I was playing, just a little bit before I came in here, obviously I had to spend some time putting the flint on my shin guards, I noticed this axe actually charges up a power swing way, way quicker than all the other weapons we had. Part of me sort of wishes that I had made like a golden machete, just because it seems kind of badass. Seems like the kind of thing that you could run around just annihilating people with. And actually, the golden machete sounds like it might be the name of like a narco corrido or something. Corrido? I pronounced that completely wrong. It's okay though. But anyways, that does sound like the name. <laughs> that definitely sounds like an awesome name for one of those songs. Let's kill off a few of these guys, and we're going to keep an eye open for any of this stuff. It looks like it's all inland. I could have blown up that barrier over there to get to the other monkey, but for now I think we're going to go full on through the center of the island just to grab everything. We're going to keep an eye out for specials or any other zombies that might give us a little bit of trouble. Blow them up with a single bullet because we are all about efficiency up in here. Efficiency is what we strive for. At least that's what I keep telling myself. Alright, I'm not fast, I'm efficient. It's an excuse that just works and pays back dividends. Let's get rid of him. And what else do we have to look at? Sir, you're moving too quickly. It's early in the morning right now. I'm just not in the mood. I'm not... Just running makes me feel like I'm not applying myself completely like I should be running. So your running makes me feel like I should be running. And therefore killing you and giving you kind of a dirt nap kind of reminds me that I should be taking a nap, which I definitely should be. I'm exhausted. I've been sick for a couple days now. There's been like this nasty plague washing slowly over my college. As there always is this time of year. And it finally got me. I had made it like two weeks and I was so excited because I wasn't sick. 
And unfortunately, it finally got to me. Let's grab Sanchez's package. Ah, there's some water. I knew that we'd find an opportunity to fill some of these up. Let's fill up two of them with water. That'll give us a nice four bottles of water, which means that I think... Yeah, we should be all right. Actually, let's get a drink right now, too, so that we don't have to worry about that later on. In the interest of handling all of our needs right here. Other packages to be aware of. I think we're going to get tired pretty soon, too, so we might think about maybe kicking it for a little while on this island and seeing if that's going to be enough to get our snooze on. Get a little snooze and booze going, or a booze and snooze. You can't really booze after... Oh, that's a normal deer. Okay. I got a little worried. The deers around here have largely been very, very bloody and very, very kind of pokey and stabby. And those are not the kinds of deers that I like to associate myself with. Deer. I don't need to pluralize that with an S. The deer. I don't even know why I'm doing that right now. Probably because it's more humorous to say deers, but anyways. I think I'll blow open this location, too, just to see what he's got here. Hey, how dare you juke my fire? My fire must not be very accurate if you're able to juke it anyways. You're like a brainless zombie. Let's go ahead and fill that water hole with gib... Wait, what's happening here, and why did it zoom out? Oh, big guy. Okay. Let's see if we can stay out of the way of him. Actually, we're in a really bad spot right now. Yeah, that's what I was sort of worried about. Can he get through these bushes? If he can't get through these bushes, we just kind of found an I win button. Oh, he's got like a mega AoE. Yeah, he can get through the bushes. What did we learn? Ow! Bitch! How dare you smack me like that? You don't own me. I'm not your property. He thinks I'm his property, though. Putting it down Alabama Slim style. I'm gonna try and line up headshots. The golden gun does not seem to be doing us many favors here. I mean, we're hurting him. How did that still knock me down from that far away? Whew, barely ducked that one. God, he has got a haymaker on him. He's got a haymaker to make Fight Night Round 5000, whatever they're on, jealous? I don't know. I have no clue. Fight Night Round 3 was the last time I visited that game, and I loved the hell out of Fight Night Round 3. I don't know why, but that was one of those games that I ended up just playing for weeks. Just destroying my social life. Any more bullets? Hey! That's one of those nice situations where the game has decided to replenish a lot of those things that you're missing. Something that I am definitely grateful for. You gotta count your blessings in a game like this. Let's go ahead and we're gonna put a bomb right there. What do we got in here? Another redstone? Hell yeah. I don't know what I want to apply that redstone to, but we'll keep it on hand in case I find maybe another machete, and then we'll apply it to that, because I'd prefer to have a machete versus a nasty little axe that we built out of, like, scrap and flotsam and jetsam. Not the eels from Little Mermaid, by the way. In case you didn't know, that was the eels name from The Little Mermaid. That's your factoid of the day. The... Fotted... I don't know. The Fotaday. There we go. That's the acronym I'm gonna use. The Fotaday. We're a little bit tired. We could use some food. I saw, a like, a couple of fruit bushes around here somewhere while I was running around crazily hoping not to get my ass punched inside out. Maybe we can find one of those in order to keep from having to eat our delicious food meats. Let's see. Well, I don't see them anywhere. Let's go down the beach and hopefully we'll find something while we're circling around this way. Oh, never mind. We're not even on that end. Well then, let's actually fill up some of these bottles. I think I left a few bottles unfilled. Well, one unfilled. But what we can do with that is we can actually turn it into a mullet. Oh, there's one over here too. Let's take that. And we're going to refill our explosive supply. We could actually use the inventory space. I don't really know what this golden herb is for. I'm willing to bet it's probably for a quest or something. What can I combine that with right now? Just the bow and the chainsaw? We can have a golden chainsaw? It's an interesting proposition. One that... I definitely... Let's have a golden chainsaw. Let's do it. Golden chainsaw. There it is. The golden small capacity improved chainsaw. I probably could have made a big capacity, but we don't even have the inventory space for that. I'm gonna eat the steak just to give myself inventory space to do what I'm about to do so that we can do our deal here. We're gonna fill both of those. We got two bottles full of gasoline. And now we want to combine those really quickly with that. And then we've also got some extra fertilizer sitting around so that we have enough explosive to kind of get through some of these barriers that Kovac has put up all over the place. A little bit more ammunition. I doubt we're probably going to end up... Well, actually, let's get some chainsaw action in here. 
let's let's do it. And I'm hitting the left trigger. Why am I not chainsawing like crazy? Chainsaw, why won't you come to me? No, there's an explodey guy in there. Let's maybe shoot him first. There we go. That's called getting banged for your buck. Instead of getting banged for your buck, which is what prostitutes do. I have to make the distinction, because I don't want anybody to get confused. Okay, so we got to come down this way. God, there's so many enemies everywhere. Go away, zombies. Nope. Nope. Bad deer. Bad, bad deer. He's given up the ways of peace. The way of the deer. It's a martial art that only deer practice. The way of the deer. It's mostly just headbutting things. It's kind of like the... God. Never mind. I don't want to plagiarize Mike Myers. Oh no! Please don't blow up all over me. See if I can sprint my way down here really quickly. We're gonna blow up this barricade down at the bottom. I'm also gonna get knocked down by his refuse. And oh my god. That is so many zombies. It seems like a good time to break out one of these bad boys. Yep, there it is right there. That's how we deal with that problem. I'm assuming that's the remains of what's his name. I don't even remember his name at this point. It was like Ted or Tad or Chad or I don't know, Chester or something. I don't know. I don't learn people's names. That's what good citizens do. Blow that up. We've got some zombified emus coming straight at us. Bad emus. I will put you down. Get rid of him, and then we're going to kind of move slowly in here, because this is an area that was locked since the beginning of the game. We have no idea what's going to be coming at us. We've got a green beef soda. It looks like it's got, like, what was that? Those little things weren't like ginseng, but I forget what they were called. Like guarana, maybe? A green beef so- oh wow, that restores like everything. Oh my god. The thing is like the Final Fantasy elixir of gloriness. Let me blast him. Ooh, more flint. That means our wardrobe options have gone up. And if there's one thing I know about myself as a gamer, I love wardrobe options. If a game has a plethora of clothing that I can... Oh, no. The worst time to reload ever. Back up. Back up, you long-necked assholes. Gotcha. Pick up a little bit of the bullets there. And we actually leveled up. We should be near the end of the tech tree, though. We've got a lot of points here. Let's maybe think about... I don't know. Let's get more Molotovs and then the extra Molotov stack. I don't know if that's going to help us out with the rest of our explosives. But it's a nice thought. It's one that fills me with warmth and happiness, so maybe it'll work out that way. Hey, more flint. All kinds of metamorphosed shirt around here. Let's go ahead and jump on into our inventory, and I'm actually going to take off some of my other stuff here. Let's take off our reinforced jacket, and I'm willing to bet I might be able to reinforce that with some spikes. Yep, there it is. So now we've got a reinforced jacket with flint. Oh, hell yes. We're starting to look like a Monster Hunter character, though. <laughs> Other thing, I don't know if I want to put it on my arm guards yet until I put actually metal plates on my arm guards, so maybe I'll save the other one. Poor emus, they had no choice in this whole thing. Neither did the humans. I mean, I think that's an important facet to point out, and like half these guys are covered in armor. I'm going to try and get rid of the ones that are uncovered first. But I think... With precision aiming, this group isn't actually going to be that terrifying. And there is going to be a huge amount of body armor sitting around. It is going to be look like an abandoned armory over here. Just helmets and armor everywhere. I will take that, though. Thank you. Thank you very much, zombie, for your sacrifice. There's a bit more right there, too. Damn, it's nighttime. So we're going to have to contend with those little bastards running around now. Let's try and hurry up. We're kind of sleepy, so I think the moment that we grab this over here we should actually probably oh there's a safe house over here so we might actually have to do a nighttime safe house fight but it'll work out for us I think I'm gonna try and get rid of these emus 
Kind of focus my targeting. Ah, right, get off me. I had a feeling that was still gonna knock me down, but I did it anyways, because they don't control me. You can't tell me what to do. Unless you're a tutorial, and then you can probably tell me what to do, because I'm watching you for a reason. I wonder if I can get, like, a repeating... I want the long tube just to see what I can do with it. Like, it'd be badass if I could make, like, a Gatling gun. Like, kind of just the, like, gun number four from Doom. Just ba da 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 and just lay down the dock on people. Or was it gun number five? I think five was the rocket launcher. I think four was the minigun. It's been a long time since my last excursion through Doom. And it was three in Wolfenstein. What is this? The triple sticks boomerang. It's missing a letter there. The boomerang. Sounds like a bomb that you would attach to, like, a doorbell. Rig that thing up with a boomerang. Now that we've got bad wordplay taken care of, there's got to be at least one in every episode. You guys know how I roll. It's got to be at least one in every single... In every single episode. Anything else di Hello to you as well, Monkey Man. Not hello to you, though, Spider. I say hello with bullets to you. We've got some mushrooms down here. Did I eat my steak already? I think I did. I don't think you can make fish and mushrooms. That doesn't make sense. Let's maybe start off... I need to trigger this thing. So let's trigger it, and the moment we get done with that, we'll try and get some sleep done. What does this monkey want? Poco see other great shiny treasure. Yellow shiny statue. Beautiful for house of Coco. Coco afraid. Big, big monster. Survivor helping Coco. Okay, so it looks like there's a statue of Santa Barbara around here somewhere. Is it gonna flag that on the map anywhere? It's probably inside this place, isn't it? Yep. I bet it's sitting right inside there. Well, let's pop the door open. And we do have enough firepower, I think, to kind of withstand anything that happens. They are probably gonna surround us at some point, but the nice thing is we can jump off any of these cliffs to keep ourselves clear, so it might be okay. Not gonna worry about him just yet. He said there's a big monster, so I don't know if it's gonna grab us with one of those big, like, knuckle dragger looking guys. And actually, I needed that explosion to go off, like, right then and there. Surprisingly, they're not really hitting me with a lot of enemies that have body armor, though, which really seems to be what kind of differentiates one safe house from another. If they decide to come after you with just a ridiculous amount of body armor, guys, then you gotta kinda just duck and dive a lot. Gotta do a lot of the old ducky doos. Okay, so we survived that one. Let's kinda run through here and scoop up any of the loot that might be useful for later. And when I say that, I mean mostly bullets, because at this point, we're pretty strapped. I mean, we've got equipment coming out of our ears at this point. Oh no, I threw my bomb on accident. My fingers are kind of twitchy, I don't know. Well, that was our last bomb, so hopefully we don't need it. Hopefully we find a few bottles around. They seem to respawn at various locations. Kill off a couple of them. Let's have a look in here. There's one of Sanchez's packages. We're gonna close that. What is that? It's for our herbarium, okay. Bit more ammunition in there, and that's actually put us almost up to maximum. Let's get some sleep. That'll also kind of remedy, it seems like that would be a horrible jacket to sleep in. That seems like a jacket that would just cut you into ribbons the moment you went to sleep. You'd end up with just all kinds of cuts and bruises and scratches. And I sleep on flint quite frequently, like rocks and things of that nature, it sucks. Don't sleep on rocks if you have a choice. Don't let anybody chat you into that situation, you will regret it. Let's go ahead and, can I jump on top of the house? Let me on top of you, house. House is like, I don't know you like that. Get out of here. We have rules for a reason. There are laws against this. House protection agencies. Let's see if we can move down the beach really quickly and grab this final package. I don't even recall how many we needed. Let me look at the quest, actually, because I don't... Oh, we needed 20. How many do we have? 12? Okay. Well, we don't have, like, a load of them, but we've picked this island clean, so we kind of want to think about where we want to go from here. 
I don't see the golden statue flagged anywhere on the map, but that might be because we're not tracking the quest anyways. Yeah, I don't even think it's on this island. Well, let's take this boat over on the left. And is that a bottle? I need you. Come with me, bottle. Come with me if you want to be broken and destroyed. I was going to say come with me if you want to live, but my bottles, it's only if I put water inside you. If I put water inside my bottles, they have a pretty good chance. They're like Nalgene bottles. They last forever. But if I'm using it as an explosive, I don't want to give the bottle false hope. You'd be like, I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> Goodbye. I suppose we will go to Santa Barbara. And this may be, we'll have a short stop here. Oh, Santa Barbara's not the one I wanted. I wanted La Sonata. Well, damn. Yeah, I think this island has a couple things left. Track that. It looks like the hang glider is going to go to the island that I wanted. Since we've got two bottles, let me make some more... Oh, no. I was going to say this might get hairy, but instead this might get feathery. Since we do have a lot of birds around. Kill off the remainder there. Reload as quickly as I can. And I'm so glad the reload speeds are up on this gun too. That's another big issue. It kind of surrounded the machine gun up until we upgraded it. Let me have a look around for a bit of ammunition to kind of replenish our stocks too. There's one. I know there's going to be more around here. Alright, so we're good now. I don't really think there's a whole lot of threats remaining at this point. We need to... It looks like there's a water tank right there. We need to go back up and get to the gas tank that's over. Well, if I had a clicker, I'd show you, but I don't. So I won't. But we need to go up and around this way. How much fertilizer do I have left? Four? Let's pick up a couple fer fertilizers. There we go. So we've got another one. Five explosives should be more than enough. We've pretty much destroyed all of the major obstacles that are kind of slowing down our travel process anyways at this point. Why are you not shooting that tall, skinny, Laffy Taffy zombie? Kill it! Kill it like crazy! What is this? Ooh, another herbarium update. I'll take it, a bottle full of gasoline. Alrighty. And a golden handmade gun. I think we already had that one. I figured that one out already, but... Better late than never, I suppose. Can I loot anything from right here? Nay! Ooh, a Guarana root. I'll take that, though. Oh, my inventory's full. Maybe not. There we go. Make myself another explosive. Maybe drop the long tube. I don't see a whole lot of uses for it at this point. And anything else that's kind of just clogging up space. Part of me is tempted to drop... I'm semi-tempted to drop the bow because we haven't been using it anyways, so maybe I'll do that. If I drop the bow, I can most assuredly drop the arrows as one follows the other. There we go. We should be in a little bit better shape now. I thought it said that there was a way up and around through there, but I might have been looking at the, long, the wrong spot on the map. Now that we've got explosives to get through here, let me see if I'm... That was a Molotov. How did I do that improperly? Forgot to combine it with the fertilizer. God. Just making mistakes, guys. Making mistakes. There we go. And now i got to wait for the flames to subside so that I don't walk through and burn my tozy wozies Kill these last remaining vanguards around here. And have a look at where the other packages might be. I think the quickest way over to a gas tank is going to be... Around to the left, maybe. God, they are just getting enormous in number. Anybody else? Any more pieces desired? Well, it didn't kill him with a single shot. I got cocky right there. Unless they don't... It's like, if they have a lot of numbers, I'd like to keep the machine gun out. And since it's so spread, like occasionally, 
we get these little breaks where there's only a couple zombies around and I kind of feel bad about using my machine gun, but we've had complete and total seasons of plenty when it comes to ammunition, so I'm not too concerned about running out. I almost feel a little bit like I wish ammunition was a bit more rare, but I guess we're well past that checkpoint. And where is this other... There it is. There's the other package. I guess we missed a couple anyways. So I might as well come back through here before we head to the hang glider. I know I left here because I was disappointed because there was that one left in the swamp right there. And I absolutely want to do that one last because we have to go all the way around the horn to get at it. But anyways, let me... I guess I'll kind of spend the remainder of my time... Oh no! Not trying to get impaled with any pointy bony protrusions at this point. Although I think antlers are made out of keratin, not bone. I don't remember though. I should know this, but I've forgotten already. Let's see. Oh, I'm right next to a gasoline tank. God, I don't know why I'm getting so disoriented right now. But I am. It's happening. So, we might as well roll with it. Just enjoy the adventures that come from stumbling around blindly in a stupor. A stupor of nobody. I'm trying to make Nubity like into my truthiness. Like I would prefer that Nubity become like my version of truthiness. But I don't see it catching on. I just don't have the influence that Mr. Colbert does. Let's get over to this gas tank. And I think that's where we're going to break off the episode. We'll fill up on explosives. And actually I may make my way across the island. And we may start the next episode on the next island that we want to take a look at. Instead of me boring you guys with the travel talk and whatnot. Zombie, why are you ducking me? Just die. You you know you're going to die already. You're not special in any way, shape, or form. You're not going to be the one zombie to like break through the blockade. Just remove that hope from your mind because it's not going to happen. Fill those up and give ourselves a better supply of the explosivos. And actually, let's see if our explosives stack a little bit higher now. They don't, unfortunately. So we can only have three on hand, even with the talent perk. It said specifically Molotov, so it doesn't surprise me. I'm not kind of butthurt about it, but it'll be okay. Uh, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here in the Nerd Castle. As I was saying, we're going to break it off here. I will see you guys next time, and take care out there, everybody.